Hey what's up guys welcome and make sure to subscribe to get regular updates and yes i know i'm a bit late to the news why because i was doing research and not just trying to quickly pump out videos okay now let's get back to track samsung and amd are killing it the upcoming exynos 1000 processor will have amd graphics and for the first time ever the benchmark scores just got leaked and it blows the snapdragon 865 out of the water let me rephrase that it absolutely destroys the snapdragon 865 <laughs> let me rephrase that again it beats the crap out of snapdragon 865 is that being too harsh yes it is but that is how good the new exynos processor with amd graphics is this new exynos chip will be built on the smallest 5 nanometer architecture and here are the big scores we have all been waiting for we have the scores from gfx bench In the Manhattan 3.1, the AMD Exynos got an outstanding 181.8 frames per second. This is the highest ever in Manhattan 3.1, and the Snapdragon 865 isn't even close to this one. Wanna have a guess? 150, 160? Oh no, it's in the range of 85 to 90, depending on the manufacturer. OnePlus 8 Pro, by the way, is 86. This is more than double of an increment. iPhone 11 Pro Max does a little better at 120 FPS. Now coming to S Tech in normal tier we have 138.25 FPS and the S Tech high tier we received 58 FPS the difference in Manhattan 3.1 was almost double in favor of AMD Exynos and in S Tech we have a difference of 3 times in favor of AMD Exynos the Snapdragon 865 scored 51.8 FPS on normal tier and on high tier it scored 20 FPS this is a triple fold difference in favor of Samsung now you might say that Dude, you are comparing next year's Exynos to this year's Snapdragon. The AMD Exynos will compete against the Snapdragon 875, which will definitely be faster than the 865. So yes, it will be faster, but still it will be no match to the AMD Exynos. The Snapdragon 855 scored 71 in Manhattan 3.1, and these were the scores of S Tech High and Normal. The increment from 855 to 865 was around 21% in Manhattan. 30% in Aztec normal and 25% in Aztec high. So if we give the 875 benefit of doubt and suppose that it comes with an increment of even 40%, then the scores of the Snapdragon 875 would still be 120 in Manhattan 3.1, 72 and 28 respectively in Aztec normal and high, which is still much much lesser than the AMD Exynos. Now I don't think that anyone could ever be able to say Samsung Exynos is a bad processor. They aren't paying AMD the big bucks for being the worst. They are going to be the best and I can literally bet that next year there will be petitions to use Exynos in USA opposite of what we have now petition to remove Exynos from everywhere. So guys hold on tight for a couple of more months and the AMD Exynos is all set to dominate mobile chips which also includes probably beating the Apple A14. Also remember that these are super early production samples by the time of the Galaxy S21 the performance will increase even further because of the optimization which Samsung and AMD are currently working on. Let me know guys your thoughts on this new AMD Exynos chip. I'm super excited. Can't wait to see this smug smile on Samsung users. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more details. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Follow me over on Twitter and guys, thanks a lot for watching.